just thought, you know what, we need a break. <laughs> so we've come down to Devon to meet Nikki and Neil and we're here on their turf in Devon uh, for the weekend and uh, yeah, come and join us. We've never met them before in our life. <laughs> <laughs> we just get anybody, strangers <laughs> off the street, you're right. <laughs> where we used to live we have these swinging bridges it's called swing bridge and uh, the bridge swings and then the boat goes past and they've been in a bit of disrepair for a while and uh, uh, but this is how it works the boat will be coming in a minute and as you can see what happens is the whole road turns and uh, here it comes big ocean liner and one day years and years ago I actually got to turn one of these and also had the opportunity of actually standing on one while it turned so uh, that was quite exciting so that's it now all they got to do now is wait for the bridge to turn back and then the traffic can move again but it does now hold everybody up you've got cyclists you've got pedestrians you've got all the way down here and it's just it's everybody else sees it as a nuisance but hey ho it's the way it goes as you can see now the bridge is starting to come back don't know whether you can make that out but it's slowly turning and then it takes ages to line it up though as it comes along and what you'll see is you'll see the um, the roadway meeting meeting up. Everybody gets excited. <laughs> as soon as it starts coming back, they think that that's it. It's about time. But uh, uh, still a bit to go yet. Now everybody else, all the cyclists and pedestrians and everything, try and beat the beat the rush to get there first. Here's the bridge at night time and it looks pretty all right, doesn't it? It's all right in the dark. It's like a few things that look good in the dark. Right, as you can see, as we go across the bridge, that, uh, there's a lot of rust areas on the bridge that need to be repainted. And um, the upkeep of the bridge, some of the metal obviously needs re-welding, etc. And I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you may see it in the dark. You might be able to see from the lights. But that's the canal. It goes straight up and straight down. Straight down there. Our old house used to be back onto this canal and as you can see the lights that are quite high up that's the high level bridge that was right next to our house. Do you ever get them days where you just can't get going? Um, well today's been one of those when you have a list of jobs you think oh, I'll get that done, I'll get that done, I'll get that done and nothing gets done. So we've decided to come out instead and have a walk, walk with the dog um, but we've got here at Marby Country Park which uh, we'll show you later is a beautiful nature park and we thought oh, we'll have a brew before we take off but change of both pints of milk not just off completely off 
So we have noticed Road is a one of those farm shops with um, milk that you can just put cartons under and get your own milk. So we're going to have a walk, not sure how far it'll be, uh, so we'll let you know how far it is, show you the machine and also um, how much it is. Here's the lovely ladies on home farm that have produced our milk. They've just come in now for milking and I'll show you the machine. We can see the autumn's in the air. Look at those leaves and the colours. So this is where we've come to in Cumberbatch and it says fresh milk sold here from 6.30 in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. Not only milkshakes, uh, sorry, not only milk, gave it away then, but you can get milkshakes as well. Strawberry banana, mint chop, mocha, vanilla, chocolate, caramel and oh caramel macchiato blimey you can tell we're in a posh bit and here's the little shed that has the milk machine in it so how does it work it's one pound twenty for a litre you've got your milk bottles there which have all been sterilized and then you must, if you just want normal milk, fine. If you want milkshake, heck, there's even more flavors here. Raspberry white chocolate, cappuccino, bubblegum chocolate, cream egg, Irish cream, banoffee, caramel vanilla, mint choc, strawberry banana, chocolate orange, strawberries and cream and salted caramel. All milkshake syrups are one pound, then add 50 pence worth of milk shake and enjoy so let's see how this goes oh. Oh, have you done it? Tell me right, go on carry on okay. so it's all done on card Every penny. It is. <laughs> Just the same day out. Bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and it's chilled. We must live poor lives if you think that this is possible. <laughs> right, because you right. shut the door now. Yeah. And, and this is where it goes everywhere. Now what? Touch the dispense. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. have you tried any of the flavours? Uh, not the flavours, just the plain ones. Yeah. But, yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're staying this evening, hopefully, in Marbury Country Park, and it's a great big park area that's in Cumberbatch and that's just outside Warrington and it has a huge lake on it there is a sailing club on the other side of it that's where Ian used to go water paddle boarding um, I don't think you can go fishing on it but there's lots of bird hides and places to see there is also an open air swimming pool but I think it's members only 
so we've just got our milk we're walking back to the van to pop the milk in and decided that we're going to have a longer walk and we're going to walk to another area called Anderton Boat Lift. This is the entrance to the park and we've had a look and it doesn't say anywhere no overnight parking. It costs £2.50 for the whole day but we have noticed gates higher up at the top. Now we did stay here once before the gates were never shut so we're going to chance our luck and see how we get on. Staying in the woodlands with Mr A and me dog. We green all day, <laughs> I don't know if you can see them, just the ears sticking up in the grass. There's two very big rabbits here. I love this time when it's the evening and they're all playing out before they go to bed. There we are. There's one. Oh, there's the other. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh. Good night, rabbits. It was just over a mile to walk there and back and the milk cost £2.40 uh, for two litres or four pints. I know it's a bit dear but it means that we can have cups of teas so we are very very grateful. Thank you home farm and ladies for your lovely milk. So this is quite rare. It is. It says it's an attraction, but actually it's quite an interesting thing. It's called the Anderton Boat Lift. And we'll show you what it does. And what it, what it actually is, is we've got one canal here at one level. And there's another canal at another level. And in order to cross over between one and the other, they built what was called the Anderton Boat Lift and what it does is you ride onto it and then it's like an elevator for boats so we'll show you in a minute now one of the uh, very popular things in Britain is the narrow boats if you remember when we went over the aqueduct there was loads of narrow boats well, the English seem to love their narrow boats. They have a lot of those. And we've got narrow boats down here. And in a minute, we'll be able to show you the Anderton Boat Lift. So here it is. This is called the Anderton Boat Lift. And if you can see, what happens is that with your boat, your long boat, you come along here and then you go into this little estuary down here and you come through and then you're onto the boat lift and hopefully you can see the canal that's a bit further down and they've taken quite a few years to get this back up and running people were crying out for it because the detour between this canal at the top and the canal down there at the bottom is something like a 50 mile, if I remember rightly, it's about a 50 mile detour to go all the way around instead of going on this elevator. So you, you, you lift up those gates at the front, you go on, shut the gate, it turns into just a solid little tank and down you go. From the Bridgewater Canal to the Weaverham Canal. There you go. Yep. Anderton boat lift. And the Weaverham Canal opens up the whole of Birmingham to you then. Birmingham? Aye. Who right. Oh, well, maybe they hope that it doesn't open then. <laughs> walk 
look, we've done three miles. It's been on the flat, so we have not got out of breath this time. And we're at the Stanley Arms, and they've got all of this lovely decking by the water. So Mr Ray's gone to get a drink. And then they've got more gardens and then the pub up there. office and then this was the swimming pool that we were talking about we've seen lots of people back and two back and two with the bathers and um, but unfortunately it is members only and um, new membership doesn't come out till December and then over here they've built a new um, adventure playground they do loads in the park so they do dog walking activities and um, obedience classes adventure things for dogs and they have music in the park and it's got such a lovely feel to it so this is the park you can literally walk for miles and my battery's about to go so I don't think we'll make it to the lake so before the battery goes I'll show you the map <laughs> and this is Marby Country Park £2.50 for a whole day's parking this is one of the strange things about the UK. You're told what you can do and can't do in every situation. Even down to the toilet, what can be put down it? And you have to close the toilet seat before flushing. And then even reminders that you should wash your hands after you've had a wee. I mean, come on England. Use hand sanitizer. Leave the toilet clean before the next user. This is a toilet and I've seen at least five different notices in it. What is going on with this nanny state? Oh, I've got such a very exciting night ahead planned. When I was 55 years old, I suddenly decided I wanted to take up running. I'd never done sport, was no good at running, but I thought, no, I'll give it a go. So I joined a running club, and at that running club, I met some beautiful women. And uh, it, it, at that time, I wouldn't have believed how supportive they were. Um, so we started the running club in the January and Covid hit in the March and we carried on meeting, just a little group of us. We kept going, we kept going and we were building our confidence up but more than that we just supported each other throughout. Um, we got as much talking done as we did running done and they have become now really firm friends of mine. We call ourselves the Soul Sisters after the soles of our shoes and tonight is the first time being in the UK that I'm going to be meeting them. We're going to go for a run as much as we possibly can because lots of us haven't run for ages and then we're going to the pub for a great big natter so come and join our reunion of the soul sisters <laughs> we've saved you from all the screeching and all the hugs and these are my beautiful soul sisters and i'm hey, so hey, happy to be with hey, them hey, <laughs> we've decided to do this pre-run because it's gonna get really sweaty <laughs> post-run <laughs> <laughs> after, after. See you on the other side.
leave yourself when you believe has gone running today oh actually she's here <laughs> and she's with a running friends and what a place to go running <laughs> it's called the Grapnall Hayes Wall Garden and this area is just green 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 everywhere all the way around it used to be a load of fields and it's been turned into like a housing area but um, Called Grapnall Hayes, as you can see by the sign, and it's just fantastic for running because there's loads and loads of paths all over the place, so um, you can have short runs, long runs, and it's very popular. As you can see, Delilah's been out and she's had her early morning walk, and Caroline now. He's just having a final chat chat before she leaves and uh, yeah what a lovely place and in the Grapnall Hayes Wall Gardens they have obviously it's a walled garden but what they also have is they have a cafe which is very popular they have ponds and things as you can see just there and it's beautifully kept in fact I'll take you through Look at this, it's like Alice through the looking glass. I'm going to go in, just give you a quick sneaky peek of all this. Always loads and loads of things that they tell you that you can and can't do. England all over again. Uh, little notice board for the Grapnall and Thelwall Parish, Parish Council. And this is the Walled Gardens. Grapnall Hayes Walled Gardens. wildlife hello duck oh, morning. Morning. <laughs> oh they're all coming over must think i've got some food yep so they do uh, a few of these little ponds that are just beautiful to sit by and then down there if you follow the, uh, the path down it will take you to a cafe now i don't think we've got time to stop for a cafe because today we are making our way down towards Exeter to go and see we're going to see Nicky and Neil if you remember that we met <laughs> all right <laughs> that we uh, that we met when we were traveling around and so we're going to have a few days at their house which would be amazing and there goes one of the Caroline's runners So, there you have it. Oh, I've got a very excited evening planned. So, when I was 55 years old, was 55 years old, 55 years old, 